Minecraft but I find diamonds in F5. I already have a great spawn, let's just get some food and then continue. All the hay bales acquired. Now time to get wood with this grass blocking my vision. Now time to make some stone tools. Okay so done crafting the essentials, now let's loot this village. There must be armor in this leatherworker's house. This boat would not get placed. Oh now run. So guys I have decided to go in this cave. Huh? Wow I found my first iron. Wow second iron. Guys can you see the diamonds down there? Oh hell no. So guys I don't have any sticks to craft a pickaxe so I need to Another go up. One. This was the easiest challenge of my entire life. Easy win guys. No one's stopping me. You have been calling these blocks wrong all the time. This isn't ugly poop laid on the ground by some sort of monster. It's called dirt. This isn't four horizontal and two vertical sticks stick to each other with gum. This is ladder. This isn't a rough 1950s block with a dog printed at each corner. This is called bedrock. This isn't an Amogus block with three Among Us dudes inside it. This is bookshelf. Lastly, this isn't cobblestone, it is infested cobblestone. Here are some of the most satisfying things in Minecraft. Wow, let's just check this ruined portal. What oh, the enchanted hell? golden apple! Oh my God. I am so lucky I found it! Wait, oh. I it. When I break these blocks, the sand will fall. <laughs> well, will I be able to survive this fall? <laughs> just imagine I walk ahead and find a woodland mansion out of nowhere. <laughs> this wasn't expected. Guys, I just found the rarest kidnapper monkey very important that is the rarest mob in Minecraft. Bro, why are the blocks floating? I know it's a glitch, but I'll still ask. So tell me, what will you choose Breach 4 or Density 5? For those who don't know, Breach reduces armor effectiveness, while Density increases the overall damage done. So the question is, why would somebody use Breach instead of Density? Like Breach 4 can reduce the armor effectiveness by 75%, while Density 5 can increase the damage done by 2.5 hearts per block. Also, density is way more common than the breach enchantment. And the final point, smite and bane of arthropods are incompatible with breach. Now you have answer to this question. As we all know in the nether, exists the soul sand. And its primarily task is to just make you slow. But there is a block in the overworld that functions just like soul sand. And it's the mud. I have not gone mad. Walking at the edge of a mud block when it's beside water actually makes you slow. But that's not the end. When you fall on a mud block beside water, it breaks your fall. Instructions clear, now I am the mud clutch god. So in 1.21, Armadillo won the mob vote, leaving behind the crab and the penguin. 1.21 is also quite a PvP update. So what if the winner of every mob vote is predetermined? Wait wait, listen to me. What if every mob vote is just held to increase the community interaction to attract more players to play the game? But behind the scene, every winner of the mob vote is already chosen and every vote you make is just a waste of time. This can be backed by the fact that Mojang never shows us with how much percentage of votes the winner won. Tell what do you guys think about this in the comments below. What's the most common, ordinary, and customary structure in Minecraft? If you think it's the village or something, then it's time to bonk yourself with a mace. No no, don't do that. The most common structure is the trial chamber. First of all, it can literally spawn under any biome in the overworld. It's just so common that you may find it unexpectedly whenever you go underground the world. Also it's just too easy to trade a trial explorer map with a cartographer. That's the reason why this random structure is the most common. So first of all before starting the video, tell me why the hell are there two experiments tabs, one in the game menu and other in the more menu. Now let's get back to the topic. A few days ago, Mojang changed their item rarity rankings. And everything's weird here if you look through the nerd's eyes. Like who on earth thought that golden apple is a common item? Yay golden apples are so cheap and common, that I can just buy stacks with dirt. It's a good decision that chainmail armor is changed to uncommon but I never knew that netherite armor is a common thing. One last question I have is that who considers netherite block common? Here are all the major changes in Snapshot 24W33A. Minecarts are now able to launch themselves through ramps, and their speed can be changed through the new game rule. Redstone torches now look cooler than the others. We now have different size variants for cod, and especially for salmons. 
we now have baby variants of squid, glow squid, and dolphin. A dream created three years ago is about to come true when you store a stack of items in it, you can use numbers or scroll wheel to select the item to get out. Bees now don't go more than 50 blocks away from the beehive. One of the most coolest changes is the new and custom look for each of the banner patterns. Wolves can now be fed seven new types of foods. And I have no idea why pufferfishes aren't harmful to them. This new redstone mechanic will probably ruin a lot of automatic farms. It's called the redstone lining and it causes the functional block connected with the first powered redstone wire to change first. If the distance be the two functional blocks is same, a random block changes. Subscribe if you watch till here. So hey guys, today we are interviewing Mr. Enderman. So Enderman, how's your life going on? It sucks to be me. What? But why? I greet everyone in the overworld, but they just ignore me. In the nether they make boats, to kill us. In the end, the ender dragon keeps on beating us for no reason. Oh, I understand your feelings. Yet that's not the end of my sadness. When it rains, it's like a torture for us. Even water damages me, and lava as well. My vision is the most proud thing in the world. Your life is really bad, but still you must be having some strengths. Not much still, there are two main powers of mine. I can teleport anywhere I want at my will, and the best part is, but no one can hit me with a projectile. Also Enderman, I have heard that a lot of people hate you, so what's the reason for? How dare you look into my eyes Dumbo? Sorry sorry I didn't mean to do so. I am escaping till then you people subscribe and tell if you want more like this. Stop you piece of crap. So I just found the actual most useless item in Minecraft. Ooh. So almost everybody know that nether warts are used to make awkward potions, these items, and some more are used to make mundane potion. But did you know that you can craft thick potion with glowstone dust? This thing is like a nether portal made from crying obsidians. It's cool for making but does literally nothing. Huh? This useless thing can even be converted into splash potions, which can then be converted into lingering potions. But question of concern is why does it even exist? Therefore just like Caman18 asked for faster minecarts as they are way more slower than later game transportations. I will keep on mentioning thick potions in every video till some feature for this gets added to the game. Glitches are usually not great for any game like Minecraft, especially when it comes to Bedrock Edition. While some helpful glitches get fixed, there are still many that survive. So for this great glitch, hold shield in offhand. Enter the nether while holding right click so that the shield is activated. Now this glitch will cause the game to think that the shield is still active and will automatically use it when hit. You can run and hit freely. Bro, this glitch can make you almost invincible if you use it wisely. And the best part is that it work even when you come overworld from the nether. But there are two things that you need to be cautious about, and one of them is to not use the shield, and not get hit by a mob that disable the shield. Otherwise you are just free to do whatever you want and become overpowered in seconds. Bruh. What's the actual and most useful team, item in Minecraft? To the point, it's the bucket in itself. Huh? You can fill it with water, which can be used to clutch when falling through lights, whether it be the overworld or the end. You can also use this to gain back oxygen. Not even close, baby. You can also use it to extinguish yourself. You can fill this with lava as well. And we all know that lava bucket is great for PvP. Lava bucket is also the best fuel source in the game lasting 10 minutes. You can fill this bucket with milk as well to get rid of any effect. You can use it to catch fishes as well much faster. And all it costs to make this overpowered item are 3 iron ingots. If someone were to tell me that I can choose only one between god apple and a bucket and I will never be able to use the other item, my answer would be... The bucket. Minecraft, but it's a desert only world and my goal is to mine a diamond. Okay so we have a pretty decent spawn, 
I even see a ruined portal there. Let's see what's in it. Time to reveal. Uh, okay, not bad, but neither good. Oh, I can complete this portal right now. I can't even light it up. I wasted one precious minute of my life. Holy, why did I even do that? I need food now. Wow, lots of food. Now I have enough food. Well, this is not what I need. Oh, an iron golem, you know what it means. Hmm. Uh, guys I forgot to turn on recording after I turn it off. But I found diamonds here. Guys I won, but at what cost?